All right, welcome back to my channel. I'm up here texting this nigga. Like, I'm even tired of texting you. Like, I just had to let him know I'm tired of even texting you about the situation. Stop fucking bothering me. So let me tell y'all what happened last night. Last night, this guy that I know came to the club. I understand. No, you don't understand. Why are you still texting me? You can't understand. So... Last night, this guy came in the club that I know. Apparently, me and this sad-ass bitch know the same nigga. So, I'm at the bar talking to him or whatever. And I was like, well, you want to dance? He's like, yeah, get me some ones. So, I got him the ones or whatever. And we about to have a drink. So, we're dancing. And she started dancing, too. So, I was, I asked him, I was like, are you dancing with her, too? He was like, yeah, I'm going to dance both of y'all. Mind y'all, I have this in the text message as well. Because everything I say i'm gonna come with receipts and i'm not a liar and i'm gonna always speak facts so we're dancing we're dancing we're dancing he spent maybe like a hundred dollars because he only had two hundred dollars to fucking start with so he spent a hundred dollars this bitch walked away she walked away for five songs right five songs so after that she came back i didn't say nothing when she walked away i tied the money in a knot so we're still dancing. I get him another hundred and ten dollars worth of ones, and I go to get on stage. So when I get on stage, I let her and the customer know. I was like, I'm coming right back. I'm about to get on stage. So when I get on stage, I see the floor guy picking the money up off the floor. So when I get off stage, I go back over there. I only did three songs on stage because it wasn't no money on stage. I go back over there to the floor. She's like, oh, uh, I said, well, what, what, what happened to the money? She's like, oh, it's two bags now. She separated the money and put them in two bags. Why would you do that? And if you were getting money on the side or if a nigga was paying you on the side, you would get your money in your hand. So she separated the two bags. But what she did was the bigger bag of the two, she switched the bags and tried to say that that was a bag he gave her on the side. So I looked at him dead in his face. I said, didn't you say you was dancing with both of us? Haven't we both been dancing for an hour? He said, yeah. So he gave us both a hug and leave. So I was like, listen, I'm not going back and forth with you. We about to split this bag right now. So as we're walking in the dressing room, she has the other bag behind her back. So I'm like... Since you want to keep your a side bag, you keep a side bag, and I keep a side bag. It's two bags. Like, since you want to play games, we know the strip club rules. She's like, oh, he came to see me. Even if he did come to see you, he said out his mouth, he's dancing both of us. I know him too. Grow the fuck up. Like, these hoes are so sad. So miserable and sad. It's pathetic. It's really, really pathetic. So as I'm walking to, with the bag in my hand, this bitch snatches my personal bag. This bag was filled, filled with money to the top. She snatches my personal bag out my hand. When I tell y'all, it took everything in me not to punch this bitch in her face because this is the same thing they did last year. This is what they do around birthday time. This is what they do because they don't make no money. They always want to cause drama, cause issues, cause, un cause unnecessary problems. So it took everything in me not to smack her. So I went in the office with the bag. The manager was like, Godiva, you know this is how they always provoke. This is what they do with their provoking behavior. He was like, I'm so proud of you for not engaging in an aggressive act, for not engaging with the drama. So I'm like, okay, you're proud of me. I walked away. But what are, what's the solution for my money? I'm like, what's the solution? I might have walked away for my own self. The only reason I did walk away is because I just spent almost three thousand dollars on this party my party is booked and paid for so if i do anything to anybody who's going to be out of their money who's not having a party me this is the same shit that they always do they always do this weirdo ass shit and mind you before this weird ass bitch went out of town with uh with the sad holes we were friends we were in the dm just for her for her valentine's day shoot i sent her my makeup artist so you never had no problem or no nothing no issue with me before but you come back from this little trip and all of a sudden you got a problem or all of a sudden you got a beef it's given very much follower it's given very much um sad girls club and y'all wonder why y'all y'all hold this press so the manager basically took the money that was in the bag this is all the money that was in the split bag. Mind y'all, he had $200. He count the money and he gives me all the money. I didn't even count or check or do anything with this. He literally gives me all the money. He was like, well, she not getting none of it since 
she tried so she stole your money she's not getting none of this money okay granted yes i got all of this money yes i got the bag but what about the money i worked hard for all night that this bitch stole she literally stole my my money on my bag and to be honest i think she's the one who stole from their trip and and out of town she's the one who rolled back with the girl kiara in the car who was with the bags and who was left in the hotel by herself with the money she's a thief she don't make no money like i work with these hoes these bitches don't make no money in a club they don't make no money but be wanting to be racked up and racked out on the internet but y'all bitches is bums in real life receipt time so i called the customer at 3 20 to, so that the uh so he could tell the manager that he was dancing for both of us just so that she wouldn't get fired because last night they was like well we, we just gonna fire her we're just gonna fire her i was like no don't fire her let her stay her case let the customer tell you receipts your lame ass friend stole my money and tried to keep my bag and tried to keep our bag she stole and took almost $300 from me and tried to fight me. And this is me to my message to the customer. I really don't do drama and I'm not blaming you. But you, I also feel like you should have reiterated your words and your initial words that we were both dancing. All that extra drama fighting shit not cool. Right? This is my message to the nigga. Because again, he told her I'm dancing both of y'all. All he had to do was reiterate that. You know what I mean? This is his, his message to me. I know what's, you know what's so crazy is that I didn't even know y'all wasn't cool. Again, I'm not a sad hoe. I'm not going to tell the customer, oh, don't tip her. I don't fuck with her. Don't, don't tip her. I didn't even say no to this shit to her. I just kept dancing with him and left it real cordial. You know what's cool? You know what's so crazy? I didn't even know that y'all weren't cool. You have never said nothing about her to me. If anything, I got to call my dad back. If anything... You was trying to hook me up with her. That's why I didn't mind. But my my try intentions of coming up there was because I told Arabia I was going to pull up. Now, this is his words. I initially came to rumors to holler at her. I danced with both of y'all until you went on stage. Now, if I would have knew y'all wasn't cool or it would have been an issue, I would have separated both of y'all. I never heard you say anything bad about her, so I thought y'all were cool. I apologize. I just didn't know y'all wasn't cool. So the customer basically saying, I danced both, I was dancing with both of y'all until you went and got on the stage. He even saying, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. All they want to do is have drama. And I swear to God, these bitches is so sad. And it's crazy because she was she kept trying to get me to fight her. She was like, what you want to do? What you want to do? What's, what's up? What you want to do? She wanted me to hit her. She wanted me to hit her. Like, that's all she kept saying was, do something, do something. Hit me, hit me. That's It took everything in me not to do that because it's like, why are you provoking me, trying to get me to hit you, trying to get me to fight you? Like, well, I swear to God, just a month ago, you was my friend just a month ago you was in my dm we lived in the same neighborhood just a month ago oh it's so boring up here i don't see how you do it when she needed a makeup artist i sent my makeup artist her for her valentine's day shoot so again this is just a month ago just a month ago these bitches is saying they want to team up and put batteries in their back for whatever reason but you was just my friend it's the same weird ass bitch that had a recording of a nigga talking shit about me in your phone so you been had un undercover pressure you're really a fan you're the same bitch that when you was trying to get monetized and you needed somebody to get you to a thousand subscribers you begged me to post you and get you to a thousand subscribers like all y'all do is try to fake bully people fake be tough for the internet but in, in real life, y'all not tough. Y'all y'all drive these sad-ass cars. Y'all live in these sad-ass apartments. Y'all live with y'all moms. Y'all don't have no money. This is the same bitch that told me to my face, oh, I would never go back to the other club, the new club I was working at. I would never go back over there. It's ghetto and ratchet and dirty. But as soon as I post my vlog where I made some money over there, look who's, in the, who's back over there. Y'all bitches are fans in real life, fans. And just some backstory, this is the same hoe. She been working at Rumors. I got a whole shoebox at home. Swear to God, I don't never lie. I don't have no reason to lie on nobody. I swear to God. I swear to God. I got a whole shoebox for like $40 worth of 
$1,000 bills. This bitch used to come up in the club and tip me. So before you join the sad girls club or before you try to get clout and try to do all this extra stuff for fame or internet clout for you to, the weak, your weak ass channel that's not going to go nowhere. Let me tell you about YouTube. You're not going to, you got to be authentic on YouTube. Authenticity gets you far. Y'all bitches creating storylines, creating issues, creating problems with people for views and your shit's not going nowhere. That's why they mad in real life. This is why they are mad in real life. In real, real life, this is why she's mad. No, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight nobody because I'm about to have a $8,000 birthday party. No, I don't want to fight nobody. I don't even want to. I ain't even been coming to rumors. As y'all know, I've been working at a whole nother club. I've been working day shift at Blaze. And Judy could testify for that because she sees me there all the time. I haven't even been working at this club. So what is y'all problem? Y'all be having so much undercover pressure for no reason. So much undercover pressure for no reason. Y'all y'all fake. It's so weird. It's so, so weird. It's so weird. And it's disgusting. It's really disgusting for somebody to think they're going to get away with stealing. Just so you know, because I'm sure you're going to watch this. You're not going to get away with it. You're not going to get away with it. I've been on the phone with both owners of the club all morning. You're not going to get away with it. That's number one. And even if they don't handle it, I promise, I promise on my soul, on my soul and spirit, I'm going to handle it. And I promise that. I promise on my soul. I'm tired of these bitches playing with me. I'm tired of these bitches, bitches disrespecting me. I'm tired of them basically having undercover pressure and hate for whatever reason. This is the same bitch that has a problem with me. Has a problem with me for what reason? For what reason? For what reason? For what reason? What's your reason? What's the reason? What's the reason? Y'all weird as shit. Y'all weird as shit. Arabia been working at rumors for, for three years. She been working at rumors. She she wanted to make a YouTube page and thought that she was gonna uh get get clicked they teamed up what they did was they called she she i believe arabia stole that money and she threw that girl under the bus to get her views and her likes up and her her shit up because her page is weak as fuck you're sad she's a fan arabia is a fucking fan this bitch is a fucking fan a fucking fan a fucking fan this is the same girl who used to be like you inspire me Oh my God, Godiva, you another dark skin beauty. You inspire me. Will come tip me on her day off. Swear to God, I, I, if I'm lying, God strike me down right now. If I'm lying, my ancestors can snatch my soul right now. If I'm lying, like this is the same person for who exactly? Why you even go on on the thing if you've been working at the club? You've been doing it. She just wants people. She she doing it for clout. She's doing it for views and for clout. It's so fucking weird. It's so fucking weird. It's so weird. She couldn't wait to post a video throwing somebody under the bus. And that's what I told her in her DM. She was mad at me. Oh, you're not my friend. Uh, a real friend to me would have picked my side. I said, a real friend is going to let you know when you're wrong. And you're dead ass wrong accusing somebody of something that you don't have any no proof or no facts for. You sound dumb. You sound dumb. You sound dumb. And the first thing these bitches be screaming, oh, you do, y'all want to do stuff for clout, for clout, clout off who? Clout off who? Who? Y'all not popping outside of the strip club, outside of the city of Atlanta? I'm not even talking about the city of Atlanta because only in the stripper world do people know who y'all are. Like, real niggas don't know y'all. Real niggas with money, real six-figure niggas don't know y'all. Not stunting y'all, not talking about y'all. I just been around hella content creators with millions of subscribers, millions of followers. They don't bring y'all up. Y'all not the topic of, of the conversation. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these weirdos? These bitches be so weird and pressed. It's sickening. It's so sickening. It's so sickening and it's disgusting. It's really, really disgusting. The level that they stoop for a dollar. The rep level that they stoop for a dollar, for a dollar. If one thing about the universe, whatever you put out is what you get back. If your money keep getting stolen, why your money always getting stolen? Why is stuff always getting stolen from you? Why y'all always, because that's what y'all do. That's what y'all do. That's what y'all do. That's what y'all do. And if you didn't take the money, why are you pressed? Why you gotta, why you, why do you have an issue?
You make no sense, dummy. She makes no sense. They're removed. Why would I be a hater and tell the manager to fire somebody? I'm not a I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. I didn't tell the manager to fire nobody. I'm not a hater. That's what haters do. That's what haters do. I'm not pressed. I'm not a fucking hater. I go to work to do one thing. That's to work. I don't go to work to be nobody's friend. I don't go to work to tag team. I don't go to work to play. I don't go to work to sit around and smoke hookah. I don't go to work to, to, to play games and vlog and play footsies and match outfits. I don't go to work to do that. I go to work for one thing, to provide for my lifestyle. I go to work to work to provide for my lifestyle that I've I've been living for 10 years now. That's why I go to work. I don't go to work to be a bully. I don't go to work to get people on my side, to get to get people underneath on my team to do like that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. I don't care about shit like that. The only I care about work. I care about money. These bitches is so fucking weird. So weird. So weird. Y'all want clout? That's what y'all want. Y'all want the inner y'all want the internet. Now you got a whole live explaining how I am gonna keep this live up. I usually take my lives down, but I am gonna keep this live up. I'm not deleting my live. I'm not deleting it because I didn't make nothing up. I didn't lie about anything. I'm not a thief. A theft. I don't have to steal from nobody for nobody to, to feel better. I don't have to do that for to get views. I don't have, you know how many fights I see in the strip club on a daily basis? You know how many fights I see? I can vlog and put this content in my in my shit because it's a fight. I don't do that. I don't do shit for clickbait. I don't do that. I don't do that. My channel is based off authenticity. I don't steal money for a better money count. I don't do shit like that. I'm not a fucking weirdo. I'm not a fucking weirdo. That shit is weird. These bitches is weird. Swear to God, I got a whole shoebox full of $2 bills in the house. That this girl gave me. Because I was like, why? When she tipped me the $2 bills, I was like, are these for me? I was like, get these. She's like, I got a whole bunch of them. A customer gave them to me. I was like, thank you. Like, I did not know. Like... Me and her, we didn't have no beef, no problem, no issue until she came back from her little sad girl's trip. It's only been four days. I'm telling you guys, it literally... Hello, man. But now all of a sudden, you got beef. You got a problem. You want to fight. She kept trying to... What, let's do what you want to do. What you want to do. What you want to do. I don't want to do nothing. I know this game. I know this comes every time around your birthday. People lose, they fight, they start to fight, they want to lose their party. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I got people who coming from Texas to see me. I got people coming from Philly to see me for my party. I got people from Tennessee coming to see me for my party. I'm not going to do nothing to risk my party. I'm not going to do nothing. Nothing to risk my party. Why would I do that? Why, why on God's green earth would I do that? When this is my bag, this my this is gonna be my five thousand dollar night. This is my last birthday set I'm having. Bitches is pressed and jealous. Bitches be fans, 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 fans in real life, fans, fans in real life. Imagine somebody going to copy every single piercing you got. Go get the same piercing you get. Is that not a fan or is that not a fan? These bitches is fans. Keeping video, keeping recordings of niggas talking shit about you in their phone. That's a fan. Who does that? That's a fan. Who does that? Who does that? I went through the same shit last year. It was with Judy and Bree. 
who stole my bag, stole the money, was dancing in my birthday section. Last year, it was with them. But that's the thing. It's always somebody related or something related to these hoes. It's always something in relationship to these hoes. That's why Judy don't have a job this year at, at Rumors because of my birthday party last year. And I know Judy's sick. I see her all the time. And I'm not even saying this in a negative way because I went to Judy's job. I've been working at Judy's trap for the last two months, on her shift for the last two months. And I see her making money in the club. And I've heard her say in the dress room, she said it multiple times. I make money over here, but I I miss my my bag at rumors. I've heard her say that. I let these hoes trick me out my bag. I'm not. I let them trick me out my bag. Y'all keep letting these same bitches get y'all in these positions to do what? To be fake tough? To be fake tough for what? For y'all to not have a bag? For y'all to not be have no money? I don't believe Kiara stole any money. No, I don't. I don't believe she stole any money. Money always go missing all the time around certain people. That's their storyline. That's people's storyline. That's people's storyline. Money go missing. Money go missing. Money go missing. Remember my money, remember somebody stole my money in the boot camp house? And I remember I said that to Benji. I was like, I don't think them girls stole my money because my money wasn't nowhere where they could have stole it. It's the same thing all the time. Money go missing, money go missing. The same thing all the time, money go missing. These bitches is weirdos in real life. Real life weirdos. Real, real life weirdos in real life. to tell y'all how this bitch is a fucking weirdo how she's a thief how she literally stole my bag and again i don't have nothing to lie about i don't have nothing to lie about the manager that's why the manager gave me all this money the money we were supposed to split like i said the money i didn't even do my money count from yesterday the money we were supposed to split that's why i didn't get split why i kept all of this money to myself because she stole my bag The house mom vouched on camera. The house mom vouched on camera that she stole. She watched her in my face take my bag. She watched her. We all saw it. They watched her. Everybody was looking at her like, what is your problem? Why would you do that? People were just standing there looking at her like, well, what? why would you do that? What's the problem? Why would you do that? What's the problem? Why would you do that? What's the problem? Why would you do that? Everybody was just looking at her like she's fucking crazy. What's the problem? Dude! What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Why Why would you do that? What's going on? Even the manager was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You got a uh, paper? Not a leaf, but a paper? Yeah. Let me get one. I was so drunk last night, I don't even know what the hell happened. It don't even matter. These bitches is weird. I just came to the back. They was like, uh, Stacy was like, go back there. So I went to the back. What's going on? I seen your bag and shit on the floor. 
Cause she stole my bag and then tried, she stole my money out the bag and left the bag on the floor. She she got the fire one time here before for stealing somebody's money. She I know she's always involved with stealing. The last time she got fired, remember she been was working here and she just came back. She got fired for stealing somebody money before. She's always involved with stealing. These bitches is weirdos. That's all they do is steal. That shit is sad. It is sad. That's why they're the sad girls club. Yeah, they don't need to be working where they gotta steal where they at. That's why they're the sad girls club. Don't worry about it, dude. I know you was back there. Everybody saw it. You was back there, right? I didn't see. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. Like You I saw was, the bag on the floor. I see the bag on the floor. F the empty money bag on the floor. Yeah. Right, because she stole the money out the bag. Yeah. The house mom sat there and watched the whole Stacey. thing. I seen Stacy. Stacy was talking to her. And then she said, dude, go back there. That was right before you walked up. Right before you walked up, then you walked up, you said something to her, and then she went to take it off her heels. Yeah, I said, why would you take my bag? She kept, she was like, what? What you want to do? What you want to do? She took her her heels off. I said, why are you taking your shoes off? Yeah, that's what, that's she what, wanted to fight me. She was trying to provoke me to fight because you know I'm about to have my party. That's what she's trying yeah, to do. That's when I got, that's when, that's when, when I got But when it. she started taking her heels off, what did I do? I walked to, I walked to the office. I'm not gonna fight you. I just spent thirty thirty two hundred dollars on having a birthday party. I'm not gonna fight you. That's what y'all want me to do so I could be out of luck at my party? No. Yeah, no. That's all it is. You finna come up at your party. Exactly. That's why they're mad. Exactly. Well, like, yeah, she ain't gonna she ain't gotta worry about it. She's gonna get a bag. Yeah, because you got like I'm, you better be glad your birthday like this around this income tax time. My birthday always be lit because it's the last little bit of the money for the income tax season. Cause I ain't gonna lie, mother, you can tell mother, like That's why they're everybody, mad. Everybody ain't out. That's why they're mad. But you can tell that motherfuckers running low on their income tax. That's why they're mad. That's why they're mad. Yeah, so they not they not making no fucking money. We know they don't make money. We see it. We see it. If you make money, the bitches who make money, the bitches who be in um, do you ever see Piper in any drama? No, do you ever see hoes with, in, in, who making bags? The bitches who really get money in that club, do you ever see them in drama? Because they're making what? Yeah, they already got they got guaranteed money. With you making money. money. Yeah. That's why they're like, mad. Else, they gotta walk around and Club, three or four or five, five, and ask, can I have a dance? Can I have a dance? That's why they're mad. Yeah, five, five or six thousand times. That's why they're mad. That's watching, why they mad. Watching, watching bitches loop around a hundred times. It's been a, it ain't been no dance for two or three days. I be like, shit, but hey. Do I be bothering anybody? No, y'all don't got, they don't be having a people already. But do I bother anybody? I sit in the back and I smoke, right? Do I do I get do I share bags with anybody? Do I be in piles of bitches? Do you even ever see me conversing with anybody? I stay to myself. Yeah, you don't even go. You don't even go in section really. Unless I don't go in section unless I know the person. Yeah, the yeah. Thank you. I don't. I don't get into all that. So why y'all got problems with me? They be jealous. These bitches be jealous because they don't make no money. And this is the worst income tax season ever. So they're really jealous. Everybody is really out here scraping. These bitches is scraping. Scraping. For pennies. That's why they act like that. I'm out the lead, dude. Let me see what I think I left mine on this side. I'm not believe. I'm really pissed off. But one thing about the universe, it takes care of me. You came up here to talk to Jonathan? He not here. Yeah, Jonathan, I'll come back to uh, Monday. I call, I just text Jonathan. You know I have Jonathan number and I I should have added Nick in the group chat too. Yeah. Yeah. You should add all the Chris, Stacy, all everybody that worked there like that way you can be a clear on everything what the fuck happened to I know Stacy not going. You know what I'm saying? Stacy seen everything and Chris seen everything. Yeah, so add everybody to the group chat. That way you good. Because he already done been fired two or three times. Exactly. All right.
<laughs> Thank you, dude. Sad ass, weird ass hoes. These bitches is weird. These bitches is so weird. So weird. And I forgot she did get fired before for stealing. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. This is the same hoe that did get fired for stealing before. These bitches always stealing. They rats. I don't. I would. I don't have to get nobody fired. This house mom saw everything. The manager saw everything. I don't have to get nobody fired. I don't gotta go out my way to pull those strings to get nobody fired. So I don't gotta pull strings to get nothing to happen. This it's, it's obvious. She don't have to own up to it. It was saw. Everybody saw her. We. Everybody saw what she did. The house mom saw her with their own two eyes. She don't have to own up to it. They saw her. Multiple people saw her. You don't got to own up to it. Multiple people saw you do it. You don't have to own up to nothing. She don't have to own up. She don't have to own up to it. I'm not a liar. I don't have no reason to lie. Like, I don't have no reason to lie. And I, I'm going to always come with receipts. What the fuck I'm going to lie for? I don't have no reason to lie. The fuck? I don't have a reason to. I'm 32. I'll be 33 this year. I don't have a. I don't have to lie to impress nobody. But as I end my life, because I'm going to just smoke. And go. I'm supposed to be driving to Savannah to go do a party in a couple hours. So I'm a little annoyed anyway. But as I end my life, I just want y'all to know one thing about the universe. It takes care of everybody. Those who still, it comes back around to you. Bitches wonder why they don't get blessed. Why they don't make money. It comes back around to you. When you attack people's character, when you call people out their name, attack their character... It comes back around to you. And that's how I'm going to end this live. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all make sure y'all... um. Let's see, Debbie, before we... Before y'all go, let's see if we hit our 8K yet. Let's see. Because we almost... We almost at that 8K. Let's see, let's see. All right, we 6 people away from this 8K. Y'all need to go hit that subscribe button. So that we can hit this 8K because I got an 8K giveaway for y'all. Um, but anyway, back to, to what to what really matters, myself. Like, I don't have nothing else to say about these sad assholes. Bitches gonna always be sad. They're gonna always be thieves. They're gonna always continue to have these same problems. These same, 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 same issues. So if you a J Bay, if you a true good diver goon, if you know what's up with the what's up. Make sure y'all drop y'all purple hearts. Make sure y'all hit the button. Come on, y'all. I only need uh, six more people to hit that subscribe button so that we can get to this 8K. My birthday party will be April 30th, and Rumors is going to be a fucking movie like last year. Last year, my goal was 10,000. I made 12. This year, I'm setting a small goal of 5,000 only because I ain't go hard. I ain't invite nobody really. It's a little last minute. So, um, just know that my party going to be coming up soon. You can't stop the rain. You can't stop what's for me. <laughs> and y'all, to y'all sad hoes, <laughs> to y'all sad, miserable, thiefing ass hoes, eat my fucking dust. You bitches can choke on my dust in real life. Like, in real life, choke on my dust. Choke on my dust. Choke on my dust. Like, y'all bitches are weird. Y'all gonna forever be weird. Like I said, I got proof from the customer. We got proof from the house mom. And if I was lying, to, this is how we gonna end it. And if I was lying, they wouldn't have gave me all the money out of your bag. <laughs> all the money. I walked away with all the money. 
out of the split bag since you wanted to be a thief. So, one thing God don't like is motherfucking ugly. And them ugly tainted spirits and them ugly tainted souls ain't going to get y'all where y'all think y'all want to go. Stop being a follower. Stop being a flip flopper. Stop being a clout chaser. Stop. How, how you been doing something for two, three years and then you rebrand yourself trying to do it under somebody else? That's weird. Stop being a weirdo. And y'all enjoy the rest of the Saturday afternoon. Bye, y'all. <laughs>